How's it going everyone? Welcome back to the channel and my uh, little shed. Uh, first off, I've got to say thanks to Hugh for sending me a sticker. I'll put you on the board, dude. Alright. Before I do that, I would take this off here, but I'm planning to do a new sticker board, uh, make a new sticker board properly. Um, that's going to take not all of this, but a centerpiece that's like behind me. Um, so I'm going to keep it on the this. I've just took the little corner off. So I'll stick you up there. There you go, bud. Cheers. So, yeah. Um, today... I'm going to turn a pen and well, I've already turned it <laughs> and it is literally this pen right. should I show you now or should I wait until you've watched it um, Oh, I'll give you a sneak peek. Right, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Where is it? There you go. There's a sneak peek of the pen. And you can see the dragon's head right there. That's all I'm showing you. <laughs> um, but to be honest, you'll see, from the thumbnail, you would have saw what it is. Unless I don't put the thumbnail showing what this is. I'm putting it down before I actually put it in shot. Um, yeah, I've got some more pen kits to do. Um, I've got these that are gonna be done. Um, I've got these. It's actually um, one um, piece. I think I did a picture. If I did, I'll put it here if I've got a picture if not then you'll just see that shelf but I've already drilled these um, I've not drilled these yet uh, these are basically by the way um, these five minute two-part epoxy um, Richard uh, the beard I think he did this first I'm not sure well yeah I had the idea of doing it, but then I noticed that he did it first. Um, so, yeah. But I will put a link to his channel if you haven't, um, if you don't know who he is yet, but you should do. Uh, but I'll put his logo here um, in the description down below. So I'll go and check it out. Right. Oh, and. Switching gears a little bit, a bit more depressing stuff. Um, if any of you know Phil, uh, I'm not going to try and pronounce his um, channel's name because I will murder it. Or well, I know he's got workshop in it. Um, I'll put that here. Um, go over there and give that guy some love because the news that he got or announced um, in his latest video is quite bad so if you're watching dude I doubt you are but if you are um, all of us here sending you some strength to get through it so chin up well not chin up you know what I mean I just made myself sound like a right div I'm leaving it in right what else have I got oh um, if you're on my Instagram then you will have seen what I've made and I've got these these are HDPE blanks I'm sure I had yeah there's another one and this one um, they've turned out quite well actually um, the black seems to have overpowered it all and to be honest, I hardly put any black in it. And then, oh, you 
you probably would have saw no I would have shot that I've got some micro mesh but what I've done is I'm only using them for pens so there's no point in me having the big square for the pen so what I've done is basically just cut them in half and that is like the perfect size to actually be able to go back and forth on the pen um, what else have I got um, some more pen kits I've literally got a good few pen kits now so I'm not going to run out anytime soon I've got copper that's there um, gold I haven't got as many gold because I'm not too keen on the gold and chrome so one of them will be in my uh, next video and what else what else have I got what else there yes you probably seen it sitting here on the shelf I found a little tester of resin um, didn't cost that much so I thought yeah, I'll give it a shot see what I can do and I've also got this not a tube before you say you know I'm going to use this tube because it's a decent size for pen blanks so I'm going to try it and fill that up I'm probably going to get two no I'll get one blank out of that <laughs> but that tube goes to this I've got a new tool rest my lovely other half let me um, buy some things so I thought I'd um, increase my arsenal a little bit still yet to get a bandsaw but I've been told um, I can't get one of them yet because I haven't got the space uh, so that'll be when I've got a shed because that's what I'm going to save up for now is a shed um, yeah so that'll be my next purchase um, hopefully with making some of them pens and I'm going to sell some of them um, whatever I get from them pens I'll basically be put aside for a shed because uh, I'm going to need one but I'll put a link to where I got them pens um, because I was going to buy the ones from Tyler Murfield because um, I got a pack of 25 and uh, for a dick to be honest it's a decent price for 25 of them um, but when I looked they wasn't on there so I have messaged them to ask if they're going back on and they are so that's good um, so I had to get them from somewhere else um, so yeah I think that's everything um, links will be down below for the stuff. Um, yeah, so I'll just get to jump straight into turning this pen. So, here goes nothing.
that's put down to the shape now. Shape's okay, I've just got to sand it. And I made this. It's a double sided sanding stick from 120 to 400. So you can probably see the little dots. Yep. So that's 120, turn it over. 240, is it two? Yeah, 240. Then flip, yeah, then turn it round, get there in the end. To 320, turn it over, 400. It, you can have it any way you want. All it is basically stuck on a bit of Velcro, then them um, sticky Velcro. So I'll just put it together, and there you go. So let's sand this up. Some like little bits of scratches in there, but they'll soon take out when I use these. Now I have cut them up because you know for pen turning that is gonna let me just move it down a bit. That is gonna be a lot better than actually having say like uh, a full size pad. So I'm just gonna drop these in the water and get micro meshing meshed all the way up from 1500 to 12,000 took out all the scratches with tea cuts and I've even put some wax on I'm not sure the wax is going to do anything but I'll put some uh, Yorkshire grip not Yorkshire grip sorry Hampshire sheen on there and now time to assemble it and I've actually got a new toy to be able to assemble stuff, so over do we go to assembly. Right, well, there is my pen press. It's basically a silicon gun. Oh. Quite easy to use. Uh, and I've, I think this is the second one I've got. Kind of got one, forgot I had it, got another one, then found the other one like normal right let me just move it out there we go there is the pen that I'm going to now assemble into this so this is up hold on get the instructions so I can see what I'm gonna do right so that's gotta go in that way Yes. So 
So I'll put this in. See? There we go. I should actually just put this on the screen, shouldn't I? So, I can, so people can see it. The pen bit. Screw that onto there. There we go. Then I believe this bit goes onto here. Alright, try that. turn that around. Let's do it this way. sure it's in there we go I like that right now I believe that that goes in there that's the spring yep and is that going there Probably going to do this totally wrong. Right, does that go on there? I think that goes in there. Right, okay. So we'll put that in there. Well, there we go. Right, let me just move the camera. And there we go, one dragon pen with black lightning acrylic. Is it my focus? There we go, black lightning dragon pen. Got some weight in it, I can tell you that one. Now I think it looks alright. Took my time using the acrylic. Um, I the only thing wrong with it is probably the seams here. They're not as flush as what they probably should be. That's probably my bad. I don't know, but it works. So, this is probably going to be the only time that I do this. And that is, uh, if you like the stuff that I do, then hit that subscribe button. And hit that like button. Um, but if you don't, hit the dislike button. I do not mind. That's what it's there for. So until next time peeps, see you all later.